Are you serious? Okay, no problem, no problem. No, no, it's fine. Hey, hey, just relax. I did it before, okay? What time is it? I said, what time is it? Can you all hear me? Would someone shoot the piano player, please? 8.10. 8, 10. Okay, we're 10 minutes late. Uh, can you all hear me? We got some mics down there too, or that's it? Do we have some mics down there? Charles, do we have any mics down there or not? Do you have any speakers hooked up down there? We have those, is those hooked up to those speakers or not? Huh? We're going to do a little cooking show here, not too much, just a little bit. I show you how, <clears throat> how to make a Danish salad. My voice is going already. I'm going to show you how to make a chicken breast pompadour. I'm going to show you how to make white chocolate mousse with a raspberry sauce. Before we start cooking, any questions you have? Anything you want to know? Give me a couple of questions. Come on. I know it's Tampa. I know we just had a major storm. Wake up. Anything you want to know? Come on real fast. In the Cayman Islands, the grand old house, British West Indies. Huh? There's a lot of restaurants here. You go to the wine cellar, you know, there's some good German food. You go to, it's not so hot? No. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to tell them, but if you say so. I had last night dinner at Donatello's, which was outstanding. The night before, I had dinner in the Armani. So there's some pretty good food in this town. They make it, you got that right. You wear a chef and they're all going to shake up. Any other questions? Come on, anything you want to know? Uh, the restaurant is outside of Georgetown. It's on south, huh? It's right on the ocean. It's an old plantation building sitting on the ocean, verandas and an ocean terrace. It's beautiful down there. Okay, any other questions you're having? Come on. Do you know why the new German Navy has glass bottom boats? So they can see the old German Navy. What you said, sir? Me. I just, I just had my first anniversary with my third wife. The other, the other two couldn't cook. No, it's, it's a long story. The other two couldn't take a choke. That's how it was. Anyhow, we're going to go to our first recipe, and we're going to make a cucumber salad. Who likes cucumbers? Who belches cucumber up for two hours after you eat it? What you belch up is not a cucumber, it's a skin. In this country, they put the wax layer on the cucumber. The wax layer takes 12 hours to digest. So you belch up the wax, the skin of the cucumber sticks to it, and you blame the little cucumber. So what you should do, in my opinion, you should peel the cucumber. Now, as you can see, the cucumber has two ends. Can you see this? I said, can you see this? Yeah. Okay, now I know. One end connects to the root, one is the blossom side. On the blossom side, you cut off a quarter inch, you're going to lick it. Most likely, it's bitter, you throw it out. You cut off another quarter inch or so. If no one is home, you can lick this one too. No one's going to see it. Now it's not bitter anymore. The bitterness is only on the top of the cucumber and only on the blossom side, okay? So you take a little peeler and you just peel it down like this. Very nice, very simple, very easy. Now if you don't cut the bitterness of the cucumber and you peel your cucumber down like this, your whole cucumber will become bitter. You put a peel right in there, you really don't need it. Now we cut the cucumber in half. Look at this. A lot of people do not like the cucumber seeds. A cucumber costs you 55 cents, and 35 cents are seeds. You might as well use it. You put this right on here, just like this. Very nice, very simple. You're going to take your knife. Let me put this over there. You all can see it. Your knife slides up and down on your knuckle. If you retrieve your knuckle real fast, you make thick slices. You retrieve it real slowly, you make thin slices. You don't retrieve it, you cut it off. So what you do, you go 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the kitchen, you take a knife, you take a cucumber, you're going to make a lot of noise like this, and everybody's going to be very impressed. In case there's no one there impressed, you're just going to cut like this, it goes as fast, it just doesn't make any noise. That's how you do it. This goes in here, this goes in here. Any questions? We're going right along, make a beautiful, nice cucumber salad. Where are we going to do this? We add in there a little pepper, just like this. Then we add in there a little salt. That's how the German chefs add salt on food. You know how the French guys do it? French chefs cannot cook very well. Anytime a French chef does something, it has to be a big show. That's how the French guys do it. They take a little salt, they're going to go, ça va, ça va, ça va. But every time, every time they say ça va, they charge another $6. So 
So we're having this in there. Then we add in there a little red wine vinegar, not too much. We add in there a little oil, just like this, not too much either. A little bit dill, just like this. You mix it up, you put it over there. What you get is beautiful, nice cucumber salad in a dill dressing. Any questions? Wake up. Nothing at all? Terrific. We're going to go to the next recipe. We're going to make, oh, we got a microphone. Wow, what an improvement, you see? Things that money can do, it's incredible. We're making some radish salad. We're going to take those little tacos. I cut both ends of so you know how to do this. And then you just slice them down like this. Very nice, very simple. Now you have to be very careful. If you should cut your fingers while you do the cucumbers, you can see it right away. With the radishes, it takes like a minute or so. All of a sudden, you see a piece of radish move, and you know it's your knuckle. And your family is not going to eat the radish salad if you wear Band-Aids, OK? Very important safety feature. Just like this, slice them all down. Two more to go. You know why radish is red? They're ashamed of themselves. They're so small and they're so hot. This goes right in here, just like this. This goes right in here. All 64 slices. Now we're going to add in there a little pepper, not too much. We add in there a couple drops more vinegar, just like this. Couple drops of oil, not too much either, just like this. We're going to throw this to the air. You're going to mix this up. Beautiful, nice radish salad goes right over there. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Does the radish have any nutrition value? Has vitamin A, vitamin C, B6, and B12. Also gives a lot of other things. Anyhow, we're going right along. Good question. There are no dumb questions. There are only dumb answers, OK? We're going to go to the next salad, and we're going to make a tomato salad. You're just going to take a little tomato. You're just going to cut the core out like this. Very nice, very simple. You really don't need it. Then you're going to take your knife. You just slice it down. You make six slices out of it. Unless your mother-in-law is coming for dinner, you're going to make 14 slices out of it. She never going to show up again. Besides my exes, my ex-mother-in-laws couldn't take a joke either. Man, they should take it serious. Just going to take one tomato. That's what they do in those restaurants. They take a tomato, they put it over a whole blade, and then they say, we have a blade of tomatoes. Six dollars, you know what I mean? Just like this. Always clean as you go. Now listen, anytime you cut something with a skin, pepper, tomato, pears, anything, always cut it skin side down. The skin side up, even a sharp knife cannot penetrate the skin, okay? Always skin side down, just like this. Goes right in here. We're going to go to the next ingredient for our tomato salad. A little pepper, not too much. Tiny dash of salt. Couple drops of red wine vinegar. You got some fresh basil. Add this on there, too. And a little oil. The oil always at last. If you add the oil in the beginning, it forms a film over the tomato. And then, of course, the salt and pepper cannot penetrate. It doesn't taste good. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. You can use light olive oil. You can use uh, extra vir uh, virgin olive oil. You can use extra virgin. You know what extra virgin stands for? She brings her sister. But any anything you want to use, no problem whatsoever. The next ingredient we're going to use, we're going to use an onion. To cut an onion the proper way, you have to peel it the proper way, which means you cut the top of the onion, you peel it down to the root, and don't cut the root of the onion. The root holds your onion together. This is the root. Can you see it? I say, can you see it? Yeah. All right, there's a guy back there with the seeing eye dog. He sees nothing. You know what I mean? Do you ever walk in a post office in Tampa? Every to post office in Tampa has a big sign on the door, and this sign says, no dogs except seeing eye dogs. <laughs> Who reads that sign? <laughs> the German Shepherd said, hey, man, we can walk in. I mean, give me a break. What I think they should do, they should make t-shirts in Braille. Then you could walk up to any girl and say, I love St. Pete. We going right along. This is the onion, this is the root. You put your onion down like this, and you slice with your knife through the onion without slicing to the root, and the onion still sticks together. You make a horizontal cut just like this, the onion still doesn't stick together. Then you just slice it down like this. What you get is beautiful, nice, diced onions. This goes right over here, this goes right over here. No problem, no big deal. Any questions? No. Nothing at all? No. Terrific. <laughs> Must be Tamba, they know it all. We're gonna go, is it Tamba or St. Pete? Yeah. 
Oh, just, 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 just checking. Some people can take a choke. We're going to go to the next recipe. We're going to go to the white chocolate mousse. To make the white chocolate mousse, we're going to take a half a cup of water, just like this. Then we're going to take a half a cup of sugar, just like this. Just tell me when. Finally. We're going right along. We're going to go to the next recipe. We're going to start our chicken breast pompadour. Chicken breast pompadour means the chicken is breaded in almonds. And it's beautiful, nice. Now, you ever make breaded pork chops at home? And after you bread two pork chops, you got more breadcrumbs on the finger than on the chops? You make another two, you cannot move your hands anymore, you think you have MS. You go to the sink and you get your movement back. Today I'm going to show you what you can do so you don't bread your own fingers. However, for this recipe you need two hands. If you only have one hand, you cannot do this recipe. Now, the chicken breast is not level. It's thin on this side and it's thick on this side, which means it will not cook very evenly. So what you're going to do, you take a knife, and you just hit the chicken breast a couple of times. Only on the thick side, it's not going to run away, it's not going to scream, it's not going to yell. A lot of people kill the chicken while they cook it. I mean, they cook it 10 minutes on this side, 10 minutes on this side, to make sure it's dead, bang, another 20 minutes in the oven. You don't have to kill the chicken while you cook it. It's already dead when you buy it, you see? It doesn't run away, it just lays there. Today we're going to cook the chicken a couple of minutes. We're going to take all the excessive fat off. Now we add in there a little salt, a little pepper. That's how they do it, then they call it poulet. And when they call it poulet, they charge another $5. Little pepper just like this, this goes right over here. Clean as you go. We're going to go and start to make our beautiful, nice chicken breast pompadour. We're having our flour here. We're having some almonds here. Anytime you bread with almonds, you take a little flour and add it into the almonds, okay? If you use breadcrumbs, don't add any flour in the breadcrumbs. Now we have to break an egg. Just going to break an egg real fast. Goes right in here. We're going to take a little fork. We're just going to mix this up. This is what they call egg wash, okay? They add no milk in there, no water, nothing else. Just the regular egg, nothing else. Now we're going to put this over here. This goes over there. Now we do the chicken. Now you need two hands. You take the chicken breast, you dredge it in flour. Can you see that? Yes. Then you put it in the egg wash. And this is going to be your wet hand and this is your dry hand. You take the chicken breast or whatever you bread out with your wet hand. You put it on top of the almonds or the breadcrumbs. You take your dry hand, you sprinkle some more almonds or breadcrumbs on top. You pat it down like this, you take it out. One more time for the people in South Carolina. <laughs> don't you laugh. You don't know why I say in South Carolina. You're just going to go like this. This is your wet hand. You're going to go in the flour. Always first in the flour. The flour makes the egg stick, okay? Then you're just going to go like this. Shake this down. This is your wet hand. This is your dry hand. One more time. You just pat it on top. Very nice, very simple. You know what they call this? They call this common sense, which is not so common. Any questions? Wake up! No? Nothing at all? Terrific. Did I tell Yes? Well, there's all kinds of things you can get. Uh, they have it for sale at Healthcraft and uh, Town and Country Road. Do you know where this is? No. Okay. Are you from here? Sorry, I give you a business card. Huh? I'm new. How new? New. Yeah, how new? new. Like uh, a month and a half. I'm only here four days. I'm much newer. Anyhow, <laughs> we're going to put this right down here. I'm going to give you a business card later. You can find out where you get it, okay? Yeah. Did you hear that story about these two ethnic guys? Two ethnic guys would like to go bear hunting. They buy a bear license. They travel all the way upstate New York. They see a sign on the street that says bear left, and they went home. We going right along. We, I didn't say they were Germans. We going right along. This goes right over here. Now we separate some eggs. And this is for our white chocolate mousse. The way most people separate eggs, they take an egg, they crack it on a sharp surface, which gives you many small pieces of eggshell. They separate the egg like this. The pieces of eggshell are so small you cannot see it. They fall right in your mousse. The children need a mousse, they cut the lips on the shell. It's a bloody mess and you see, I don't know. The way you crack an egg is on a flat surface like your chopping board. This way you get big pieces of eggshell. And if they would fall in your mousse, at least you can see it and you can take it out. Any questions? 
Did you hear that story about these two ethnic guys? Yes. They're driving down the street. They see a restaurant named Taco Bell. And one ethnic guy says to the other one, hey, look at those Mexicans. Only six in the country or they have their own phone company. <laughs> we going right along. This goes right. I know you had, I know you had, a, you had a be there. Ooh, ooh, man. You knew here, okay? You're not allowed to boo unless you go to the Buccaneer game. We going right along. Oh, should have said it, huh? How 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 the Bucks doing this season? Uh, what's what's uh, two and two or two and three? Three win two. Hey, that's better than the last two seasons. What do you want? That's incredible. I'm gonna need a volunteer. I need something from down there to come up here and help me cooking. Okay. What's your name? Is your, ma is your husband here? Yeah. Oh. Hey, some guys cannot take a joke. What can I tell you? She's going to help me real fast. Do you ever cook before, Sally? Very much. What's your favorite dish? Chicken. Chicken, <laughs> of, course, yes. of course, of course. I hope it fits, you know, there's a little bit Please, of little. No, I know, it's all. No, no, it <laughs> looks good to me. Uh, no, normally I tie it in the front, but oh, you know how it yeah, is sometimes, sure, you know, yeah. Sure. Hey, what can I tell you? We, where's your husband? Where's your husband? He's out there somewhere. Which one? Is he bigger than me? No, he's okay, out there. Okay, good. Yeah, they're always out there, <laughs> especially when you don't need them. We're going right along. We're having here four egg whites. We're adding a tiny dash of salt. And Sally is going to whip this very stiff, oh, okay? Nice. One hand on here, one hand on here. Keep going like this. Our sugar syrup is cooking. We're going to take a saute pan. Any questions? Anything you want to know? Nothing at all? Come on, come on, real fast. Did I tell you that story when those two poets die? Two poets die, they go in heaven, they knock on St. Peter's door and they say, can we come in heaven? St. Peter said, wow, you did two poets, you can come in heaven. All what you have to tell me is a poem. They say, no problem, we tell poems all our life. Ah, St. Peter said, with you guys I have to make it a little more difficult. The poem you're going to tell me has to rhyme with the word Timbuktu. They look at each other and say, that's going to be a tough one. The first one said, let me try it. He said, I gaze upon the desert sands and think of far and foreign places. A caravan comes in my view, destination Timbuktu. St. Peter said, man, that's pretty good. You can come in. How about you points to the second one? Second one says, Tim and I a hunt we went. We spied three maiden in a tent. Since they were three and we were two, I packed one and Tim packed two. We going right along. We gonna, hey, how are you doing? You just do your egg whites here. You know, just keep going like this, right? right? Don't put too much pressure, really, like just like. We going right along, I know I wake you up sooner or later. We gonna take a little oil here. We add this in our saute pan. This is for the chicken. Our sugar serum is cooking very nice. We add our two pieces of chicken breast right in here. This goes right over there. How are you doing, Sally? Good. It's good? good? Okay, just keep going like this, very nice, very simple. While this is cooking, the sugar syrup is cooking. No problem whatsoever. We're gonna go back to the onion. This time we're gonna take the onion, we're gonna cut the root off, the onion goes right in here. We're just gonna slice the onion down. You know what's gonna happening? We have the root cut off the onion, and now the onion will fall apart. Now we have beautiful, nice children of onion. Goes right in here. We're gonna take a green squash just like this. You're gonna slice this down. Then you're gonna slice it down like this. Then you just slice it down like this. Of course, you also can run it with a food processor. Takes 15 seconds to run at the machine and 45 minutes to wash it. You might as well just do it like this. Sally, how are you doing over there? Looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, I hear you. We going right along. Hold on a second. One time. Hold on. Let, let go. Let go. Do you know when egg white is done? You turn it upside down. If it doesn't fall out, it's done. If it falls out, it wasn't worth it anyhow. Now, who makes lemon meringue pie? I do. I do. Who has leaking, we being egg whites? Come on, raise your hands, I know you screw up. You have to understand, all the mistakes you make at home in small quantities, I make in my restaurant much bigger. Watch it. Now I'm gonna show you no more weeping egg whites. You're gonna take that egg white when it's stiff, you add that hot sugar syrup right in here, you mix it up real fast, the hot sugar syrup cooks your egg white halfway. This is what they call Italian meringue. You're gonna take this Italian meringue, you put it on top of your lemon meringue pie, you bake it in the oven, no more weeping egg whites. Did you know that? No. 
Good. So, we're going right along. Now we're going to saute our chicken breast. Just throw it in the air like this. The first time you do this at home, you do it over your sink, okay? Just in case. Now we need for the white chocolate mousse, we need some heavy cream. I have some cream here, very nice and chilled. Sally, you're going to do the cream also? All right. All right, terrific. You get them. You get them on stage, they do anything, man. You take them home, not tonight, hon. We're going right along. We're going to add our heavy cream in here. We're going to add one tablespoon of sugar in here. One and a half. Doesn't make any difference. You're not going to eat it anyhow. One more time. All right. If you do the egg white first, you can go like this in the whipped cream. You do the whipped cream first, you cannot go in the egg whites unless you wash it. Got it? Good. Got it. We're going right along one All more time. Right. Real nice and stiff. This is cooking. This goes over here. This goes right over there. Where's my second saute pan? Healthcraft cookware, stainless steel, 24 carat handle, huh? You got it? Beautiful, of course. Just like this, very nice. We're gonna take some of our yellow squash. We just slice this one down. This is gonna be for our stir-fried vegetables. That's what we're gonna make with our beautiful, nice chicken. This goes over here. We're gonna take a little broccoli, not too much, just like this. Just cut the rosettes off. This goes right in here. We're gonna take a little cauliflower, just cut this off right here. Just move it slowly, no pressure. You take it, it's just real nice, easy, you know? Hey, slow, you heard that before, good. We're going right along just like this, no pun intended. You're just gonna take your, bra uh, your cauliflower, real nice, tiny rosettes. Any questions? Yes, sir. Huh? Never mind. What is with the apron? That's a braille apron. This one is one. Twin Peaks. Ah, oh, oh, oh. No, we're going right along. There was a TV show. we just going right like this, just like this. Very nice, very simple. Sally, where's your husband? Is he out there? Can you see him? Yeah, I see him. Which one is he? He's way out there. Okay. This is, girl, this is going to be here. What's, your name? what's his name? John and Holly. Just put her up. John, this is going to be her apron, John. The first time she wears this apron at home, she can wear nothing else. <laughs> works, works for me. Little pepper, little salt, that's how they do it, you know, one more time. Just throw this in the air. We're gonna go to the next recipe, how the cream is doing just fine. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We're gonna take, you know, sometimes it's better to say nothing. We're having here some white chocolate. This is what they call white chocolate, what actually is, is the cocoa powder. They call it white chocolate because it gives the chocolate a flavor. You're just going to take this, let me saute this, let me saute this. Just take that white chocolate and just chop it down like this. Don't run to do the food processor, don't run to do the cuisine art. Just going to go like this, you see this? So when you eat your white chocolate mousse, you have beautiful, nice, crunchy chocolate in there. Pieces you can bite on, adds a beautiful, nice texture to it. Very nice, very simple, no big deal. This goes right in here, this goes right in here. The white chocolate goes right back in here. Any questions you having? Yes, sir? The cauliflower and the broccoli, I cut it in little florets. I normally don't use it, you want? I make sometimes, I make soups out of it, but eating like this, you know. Yeah, but this is a top-notch show. We don't use broccoli stems, you know. I mean, excuse me, this is, this is big bucks. This is big bucks, you know what I mean? The chicken breast is cooking. Let me move it out one more time. Very nice, let me turn it down so it doesn't burn. This is cooking. Now I need, how are you doing? Good. Now I'm gonna need six mushrooms, just five. You're gonna take your knife. Then you just chop the mushroom. What you do, you just keep the knife going and put the mushrooms right underneath. No problem whatsoever. This goes over here, this goes over there, this goes right in here. Now, how is our cream doing? Sally? Very good. Very good. You, you nice, and nice and smooth. Okay, I want it stiff, baby. Okay. Just keep going like this. This is cooking, this is cooking, this is cooking. We're going to take a beautiful, nice blade, having a blade right down here. Let me wipe this off real fast. Where's my other plates? I thought I had more plates. Oh, here's one. No problem. We're just going to take this blade here. Let me wipe it dry. We're going to take a couple of lettuce leaves. This goes right in here. Now we're going to combine our Danish salad 
or salad composé. This goes right back here. We really don't need it. We're going to take our tomato. We add it right on here. See this? Very nice. Beautiful. Very beautiful. We're going to take... Don't you worry about it. One more time. Good. Now we're going to take our cucumber salad. Goes right on here. Just like this. We're going to take our radish salad. Goes right on here. Just look at this. But hold, there is more. Since we have a restaurant, that's what you always do in a restaurant. The other little parsley, no one's going to eat it, but another 250. Just like this, very nice, yeah. You might not eat it, but you're sure going to pay for it. The chicken is cooking, this is nice. This is cooking too, the stir fry vegetable with no broccoli stems. How are you doing? Let me, let me see one second, let me hold you. Make sure it doesn't turn to any butter. So what's your favorite dish, chicken? How you cook your chicken? I like it broiled. You like it boiled? Excellent choice. No broiler here. Just going to go like this. Mix it up and make sure the cream is also very stiff. Do you know when whipped cream is done, you turn it upside down. If it doesn't fall out, it's done. It only fell out once. Was in Great Falls, Montana. And I'm telling you, the women in Montana cannot take a choke. I mean, you had it, the cream is running down her face and she said, Chef Tell, I don't appreciate this, I'm going to sue you. Yeah. I said, come on, baby, here's $40, go to the hairdresser tonight, I'd like to take it for dinner. Oh, she said, now you're talking. I meet her 9 o'clock in the lobby, I take her out for dinner, little dinner, couple drinks, you know. Four in the morning, I walk her home. I walk up the driveway to her house, her husband opens the door and said, now I'm going to sue you. Thank you very much. Mwah. All right, Thank all right. You, okay, give up, give up, give up, watch it, watch your steps here. We going right along. We're having here our whipped cream. We have, what, are you moving back there or what? Yes. Why don't you just ask him to stop, huh? Tell him I have long knives. We're going right along. And they can join the Tamba Boy Squire tomorrow. We're going right along. This is cooking very nice. We're having our whipped cream here. We're adding our chocolate pieces in here. We just mix it up. Very nice, very simple. We add our beautiful, nice egg white in there, the Italian meringue. You know how it was done, this goes right over here. Just mix it up like this, you know this? Very nice, very simple, easy recipe and beautiful. You saw how it was done. Now a lot of people say, how can you taste food without getting all these calories? There's one way you can taste food without getting any calories. You know how it goes? One thing in here, no calories whatsoever. We're going right along, we're going to take our chocolate mousse, we add it right in here. The lumps of chocolates, they're not going to melt. And it's going to be nice and crunchy. Stay up, up to two days, you can make this ahead. Just like this. I wish you would be here, you could taste it too. Just like this. A little bit more. Always serve your desserts in a beautiful wine goblet. Go like this. So get all the air bubbles out. And then you just clean it. That's how you do in a restaurant. You just don't see it. This goes right up, just, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I shouldn't say this. This is cooking, the chicken breast is done, but hold, there is more. We're gonna make some raspberry sauce for our beautiful, nice, white chocolate mousse. We're gonna take our raspberries, which were frozen, then thawed out, we add them right in here. Then we add in there one tablespoon of sugar, so just a little bit, one and a half. Now we add in there some Kirschwasser or cherry brandy, 106 proof. Man, you make this for a children's birthday party. Man, you give them this for lunch. They fall asleep at 5, 12, 30. You wake them up at 5 o'clock. They say, hey, what a party. And they didn't ruin your house. You know what I mean? I mean, this is what they call in Germany, Lo de Vie. And Lo de Vie means water for life. And they say in Germany, if you drink this water for life for 100 years, Every night after dinner, you get very old. We put this right on here, goes right on top. Oh, yes, just like this. Now you're going to put this on a blue napkin, you serve it for the July. We're going right along. We're having here a blade. Any questions? No. Nothing at all? Yes, sir. When do we eat? Now, listen, okay, good question. There was only one gentleman who was feeding 3,000 people with two fish and two loaves of bread. 
he also walked on water. I'm not there yet, okay? I'm trying. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, I think we have the recipes here. Otherwise, we have the recipes here. We give them to you afterwards. Now, any other questions? Okay. We're going to take our stir-fried vegetable, just like this. Mm, best things I made all day. Just going to go, but the night ain't over yet. Just go like this, just go like this. Very nice, very beautiful. Stainless steel cookware, doesn't stick, nothing easy to clean. Just look like this. None of this tea file crap there, you know. Just like this. Very nice, very simple. This goes right over here. One piece. It doesn't look much nicer than the kernels. Right over here. Just like this. Yes, sir. So this is not China, not the kernels food. One more time. Just like this. You wipe this out. Just look at this, huh? You ever cleaned home like, like this? No dishwasher. Just like this. Right back on the stove. Cook something else in it. Or just right underneath. But hold, there is more. 250 on here. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm kidding. That's how we make our bucks in that business. And 250 here. Just like this. Now, what did I do in exactly 28, sorry, 29 minutes? I showed you how to make a beautiful, nice salad, com salad composite, just like this one. I showed you how to make a chicken breast pampado with stir-fried vegetables. I showed you how to make a white chocolate mousse with a raspberry sauce. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Till the next time, thank you very much, and I see you. One down, six to go. Oh, no, not this time. And the recipes will be right down there. Will he sign an autograph, Chef Tell? Yeah, of course, anything you want. He pays the bill, as you can tell. Yeah, that's what you said last night. She was lying too. You got to come? Now I'm going to have a beer, man. Who's this? Carol? Hi, Carol. No, I'm answering. Yeah, I'm sure Hi, Carol. Carol. Please. Sit right over here, come on. Just give me right a chair over here and I do it right. Give me one of those chairs, please. Pull it off. They're all together. <laughs>